This is Dave with DRH Acrylic Creations. Today I'm doing a piece I've titled Purple Vortex. PPG Multi Pro egg in eggshell is going down now. It's my pillow paint. It's my go to pillow paint. Next is uh, Blue Black by Artelia Interactive. And basically, it's indigo. In fact, it's not basic, it is indigo. This is Dioxazine Purple, and this is by Joe Sonia. Finishing off the last of a of a supply up there. Next down is interference gold. And this is golden. Uh, it's a two paint. So usually my interference colors start out as a pigment. Next is interfer interference violet. Again by golden. Finishing off these, uh, what I have there. I'm going to do a swipe through the interference colors into the dark, and to get my first, my first spiral going. I'm going to load up the back of this, um, this, the, the swiping tool, with my first my uh, cell activator, which is dioxin purple, uh, and then some tw uh, titanium white. The purple is Josonia, and the titanium white is uh, Amsterdam, and are mixed with three parts Australian Floto. This is Blue Violet by PBL, and it's an iridescent color. This is Claret by Color Art. This is Afterglow by This Little Piggy. I'm gonna flip this over and swipe across what I have here. If you missed anything, don't worry about it. It is down in the description below. Picked up my smaller swiping tool and I'm swiping uh, with titanium white uh, cell activator to get some more cells going on. I'm gonna do the same thing over on this side with the dioxins in purple. You can see the cells are forming nicely there. Okay, a little bit of scoop and drag. Spread this out a little bit. See if I can create some more, uh, some more interest. Okay, gonna start spinning. And I do a lot of spinning with this one. So you're not gonna see all of the spinning, but you'll be, get a pretty good taste of it. This is not quite real time. This is actually, looks like I'm spinning much faster than it actually was. Um, light spins, I'm trying to spread the paint out and get total coverage on this, uh, on this round that I have. The reason for the spinning is to, to move paint off of the surface and also to open up the, the cells. And the reason why I usually go slow with my spins is that a lot can change in a very short amount of time. So if you want to move a lot of paint, go fast. <laughs> but you may have a change in your, your composition. So you have to be aware of that. You see that I'm getting pretty darn close to where I want to see this at. So I think we're pretty close to being done. I think it's time for the flyover. Got some really big, juicy cells on this one. And the pink and the purple went beautifully together. I think the colors played very nicely. Overall, I think this was a Definitely a winner. I like this piece, and I think that I'll find a place for it on my walls. If you found this video today useful, I invite you to, to give me a like, subscribe if you haven't already done so, and ring the bell for videos that I'll put out. 
It's my goal to put out at least two per week, and I'm hoping you find them enjoyable and useful. Thanks for being here. Bye now.